I'll pick you up at eight. Where we go on the day? I wear my finest clothes. Take it to a place where no one knows you're eating there. Now take extra care. It's all I get here for you. Calgary, Alberta, I care for you. My name is Michael Bernard Fitzgerald, and you are watching Press Plus One. Well, you set yourself a challenge tonight uh, on Facebook. Um, how's it going? Tell us what the, the challenge is first. We started it yesterday. I wanted to hit uh, 10,000 Facebook fans by the end of the day. And um, and we still have a bit of work to do, but I, we still have a bit of, of the day left. So I think I think it'll work out. But um, I just thought it'd be fun to just uh, set a little challenge on the day. Ten thousand. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a. It'd be nice, you know, to kind of get to that, that kind of that next. Have an, an, an additional digit on Facebook, which would be good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna aim for that. Even if it's not tonight, we're gonna aim for that. That's right. But I want it to be tonight, so I'm still, I'm still live. I'm gonna live up to the challenge on my end. Okay. Okay. Anything special happening if you do get ten thousand? Yeah, we're gonna put out a. We're gonna put out a. I guess like kind of a behind the scenes, um, like a, a, a reel of footage from, from my birthday spectacular show. Oh, nice. I heard about that. Yeah, it was like a, a thousand people all dressed in Canadian tuxedos, <laughs> nice. which is fantastic. We are at the Calgary Stampede, and this is kind of exceptional this year. They made it to 100 years and then were flooded, um, and now they're back open in like less than two weeks, and you're the first act to be going up, and this is your hometown. So does this feel particularly special to you? What have you seen? Have you just rolled in and not yeah. seen what's been going on we with just the got back to town yesterday so uh um it's uh the the flood portion you know the flood the, the flood that's been going on and, and people's reaction to that it's uh, we're all seeing it kind of secondhand through through social media and through you know friends and family but uh so we, we really haven't experienced it firsthand yet and um but i do think that being part of the first day of the stampede that you know is is gone with the motto hell or high water and uh you know, has, has decided to just go go forward no matter what. I mean, to be on the first day of that is feels exceptional. You know, hopefully we can be some sort, you know, part of some sort of positive spirit. Uh, you know, as as the city rebuilds and as the city, uh, you know, overcomes the the flood. Here you've been doing a across uh, North America tour. Um, tell me a little bit about that experience. Has that been your first one, or no? We've crossed Canada a few times. Th this this tour had a couple uh, dates in the United States, which have been, were really fun. And earlier, a couple months ago, I toured with a, uh, an artist named Bobby Long in the States, mm -hmm. which is also really fun. I'm I'm set to go back out with him in, for the month of August in the Western United States. So it's definitely been wonderful to get down to the United States and, and try out some of the rooms and, and experience some of the cities they have to offer. Mm. I mean, obviously, it, it makes me excited to come home to Canada and home to Calgary, but um, this tour of Canada has been a, a lot of fun. <laughs> In yeah. what way? Um, we went with a smaller group than we usually do. I mean, I love, going with, I love playing with tons of people on stage, but we went with a group of four, which... Um, is a lot easier uh, to travel with. It's um, so that that was a, a definite plus. It was for the first time I kind of felt like the weight had been lifted off my shoulders a little bit, and I was able to just travel with a small group of people and very manageable and easy to fly and easy to to all get into a vehicle. and And then we just toured. We went we went straight to the Maritimes and straight to British Columbia. And then technically, I guess today is the last show of the tour. So. Um, I mean, what a, what a note to end on. Oftentimes, the Calgary show is at the beginning of the tour, and uh, I think it's going to be a tastier final note mm -hmm. for sure. Nice. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so was it this EP that you recorded down in the States or are you working on something now down in the States? The EP that's out currently on iTunes. Say it. Firecracker. Firecracker EP um, was recorded uh, with John Levine and Brian West, who are both Canadians that live in the United States. And the three of the songs on that EP are from the full length record, which is coming out August 27th through uh, Trauma 2 and Universal in Canada. Mm -hmm. And that also, the whole record was recorded by Brian West and John Levine. So the, the record, I actually just showed the band. I just showed them, we got a, like a, a rough copy of the album artwork today. Nice. So I just showed them that and, um, and it, yeah, it's, it's, the date is set. I just feel like I got a scoop here. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, the date is set, which is great. It's, it, um, it's been a long time coming. I've, I've been working on it since uh, the first time I, I, the first song we wrote for this record and recorded, we, re we recorded in May of 2010. Mm. So it's, um, it's been a process. Uh, I've gone through a lot um, during the recording and the creating of this, of this music, but uh, I do feel like I'm finally ready for it to come out. Would you rather be a beetle or a rolling stone? A beetle? I don't know who's slamming on that's, that. That's, yeah. It happens. Sometimes people just stomp on the floor. <laughs> I'd rather be a beetle. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because I can align personally with the beetle songs a bit easier. And I, I feel like... I feel like... Uh, the first thing I think of the Beatles, I think that they were—they seem to be just kind of light-hearted gentlemen that were just out there to have a good time, have fun, and, and write fun songs. And is love really easy to miss? I think it is. I think it is. I think I think people. I think I think many people daily uh, miss out on loving themselves, or or and they miss out on situations that you know could allow them to to love their lives more, or love each other more. Mm. Yeah. How can people connect to you? Uh, everything online is just I love MBF.